<laughs> what is up y'all all right so obviously if you're on this video you're trying to figure out how to play two save game files on need for speed payback for pc if you're asking me for ps4 or xbox or anything else i honestly don't know this is just mainly for pc i've tried it it works so if you're a person that has a brother or a son or a wife or whatever it is your grandma wants to play either um, and you're trying to figure out how to have two save game files. That's what I'm going to show you right now. So this is what you want to do. What you're going to do is you're going to locate the file of where you're saving the game of Need for Speed Payback. Now, if you've done the recommended settings, then I'm going to show you exactly where it's at because I did the recommended settings too. So what you want to go is you want to go to this PC and then you want to go to your local disk and then you want to go to users and then uh, the profile where you saved that at, which is mine, it's Keb Ak, but it's, yeah. And then you wanna go to documents, and then you wanna go to need for speed payback, and then save game and save game file. Now this is where you're gonna locate the file where you saved the game. It's gonna have one on it. All you have to do is take that file and you're also gonna need like a USB or an external hard drive or anything that you can save your game file to from a different file and you're gonna save it onto there, USB, whatever it is. So I've already done that and you can see it. You can see on my USB drive, I have one and I have one copy. You're probably wondering why you have one copy. Well, I'm gonna show you in a bit, okay. So then after you take that file and you put it over onto USB, you're done. Or once you start the game, it's gonna start over and that's how you know that you have a different file. Now, when you wanna play the other file back, what you have to do is you have to take that copy, right? In this case, one copy, and you're gonna drag it back onto the save game of the Need for Speed Payback. Now, what you have to do is you have to take out that first file so if you want to delete it or if you want to scrub it somewhere else copy it somewhere else if you don't feel that safe or you feel like uh you want to be more safe about it so for this instant like let's say i save it back to my usb i mean obviously it's there but i'll replace the destination you know so we're gonna replace it and now what i have to do is i have to delete the first copy right And then you're gonna load, or you're gonna uh, rename the one that says one copy, you're just gonna rename it to one. Just like that. So then when you start your game up, it's actually gonna load that file. I don't know why, but if you put two, it's not gonna work. As long as it says one on that file of your saved game, of where Need for Speed Payback is, it's going to work. So let me demonstrate that now, okay? You're probably like, oh, okay, well, you're all high and tidy, but just showing it you know files and stuff like that but let me let me show you okay so one regular one that i have which is right here this is my actual save game file this is the one i completed everything's done this is where i have all my cars and you know missions are complete the one copy is the one i use to start over with so right now i have the one copy because you can see 23 kilobytes on the one copy as opposed to one copy is just 23 kilobytes. So I'm gonna load the game up and I'll show you exactly how everything was made. As you can see, I'm on the startup screen of Need for Speed Payback and when I press enter to load my saving, loading the saved game. Um, so I've actually completed the run through, you know, the very beginning where you have to race a couple cars and stuff like that or use a couple cars and do a couple missions before you can actually pick your car. So I've done all that and right now I have a a Honda S2000. So, right when I load this game up, I should be driving the yellow Honda S2K. Hopefully. I hope so, because <laughs> if I'm not, then this whole video is just messed up. All right, cool. So now we're gonna resume the desert winds. Or, or sorry, sorry, sorry. The STI, all right, so that was the other car that I picked. All right, and then we're gonna go back in. Right. And then we're gonna enter the garage and I'm gonna just show you that this is freshly new So yep, as you can see I have the S2K. That's the yellow one and Time then I have the Impreza, S S the Impreza STI Now we're gonna leave the garage And now I'm gonna uh, choose the other file 
and show you that all you have to do is just revert that file to one and everything will work perfectly fine. So now I lo I've located the file in my USB and I've also located the file of where I saved my game on Need for Speed Payback. <clears throat> so as you can see here, 23 kilobytes one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually rename this. No, no, that's not that. We're gonna rename it to one copy. And then we're gonna drag it over back to the USB and we're gonna replace the file destination because it's a new save file. And then we're gonna take the one and we're gonna drag it over back to where the Need for Speed Payback save game is. And we're gonna delete the one copy. So now we're gonna exit out of one or the both files and we're gonna restart Need for Speed Payback and hopefully it should be my save game file that I've completed. I should be driving I believe uh, Subaru BRZ. So now we're back on Need for Speed Payback and we're gonna load the game. Hopefully I should be driving my Subaru BRZ um, and I'll show you that I've completed all the mission or yeah, I've completed the missions, finished the missions and um, it's not the same file as me just starting with the S2K and the STR as soon as it loads which is taking forever. Okay, so now we're on the file of, now we're on the save game that I've actually completed. All the missions are done and I should be driving a Subaru BRZ. So we're just waiting for it to load now. Yep, and I'm driving my Subaru BRZ. Uh, it's not that I, I know you're probably thinking well it's still yellow SDK yeah shut up okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go to my challenges actually not my challenges let's go back, back. Uh, we're gonna go to my journal and as you can see right there missions 100% overall 77% and that is exactly the way to have two saved game files on you for speed payback on a PC PC, not PS4, or Xbox. You probably could do the same thing. I'm not 100% sure, but what I know is that you can't um, have two same game files, which kind of suck. But that's the only way I could think of PC. So thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like it if you guys did find this helpful. Also, also stay tuned for more videos about me playing Need for Speed Payback. I plan to play it on hard difficulty mode because I finished it on uh, medium. Um, and I'm super, super excited about the new content and downloads that are coming out soon, especially since they're adding the RX-7 into the game. I don't know if you know, but because I'm Asian, yes, you can stereotype me. I, I do love imports and um, I do love imports and, and uh, Japanese models, cars, whatever. But I'm really excited about the RX-7. I was kind of bummed because, you know, if you're playing the missions, you actually saw the RX-7 being played by the computer, but for some reason you couldn't choose it. So now I'm excited that they're actually coming out with it. Um, but yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel. There will be more of me playing games of Need for Speed Payback. I'm not sure if I'm just going to stick to just Need for Speed Payback. I might play more games. But anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like it. And also, also, see you in the next one. Peace! Till the next one at least.